80% of labor migration in Africa is interregional and mostly involves the migration of low-skilled workers. These migrants emigrate regularly and irregularly in search of employment opportunities and better wages. Even though these irregular journeys are usually arduous, migrants continue to go in search of greener pastures that elude them in their home countries. <laughs> የተሻለ ነገር አገኛለሁ ብለክ በፊት የተሰራውን ስራ አብሰራ ላሽነፋል ይችላል ኑሮ ይሄ የተሻለ ነገር ለማግኘት አረባ ሀገር ሄድኩ መጀመሪያ ይሄድኩት ኩዌት ነው ኩዌት ሲሄድ የገባሁት መጀመሪያ ከዚህ ሄጅ የገባሁት እንደ ጥበቃ ቤት ነው አንድ አመት ምናምን አንድ አመት ተኩል ምናምን ይጠበቁት ወደ 10 አመት ገደማ አከባቢ ሰራሁኝ 10 አመት አከባቢ ገደማ ሰርቼ ግን ምንም Yes, as a country we realized that uh, we are struggling with unemployment we are basically among the youth uh, our training institutions are producing around a million uh, graduates every year the economy is only able to create other, around 800,000 jobs new jobs every year and uh, around 80% of these jobs are in the informal sector and uh, as we know it the informal sector is uh, one sector uh, that is not that stable across the world so jobs are created but they go down very fast through labor migration we're able to place people out there they earn a living and also uh, get skills that they're able to come back and impart on the other people so the earnings they get out there we're able to use them within the country to grow our economy and the foreign exchange uh from uh, labor migration is the highest in the country today and therefore as government uh, we are keen in making sure that uh, we better this sector so that as many people uh, leave the training institutions they are able to earn a living out there and also come back with skills that uh, will better our economy often those who migrate irregularly know little about the labor migration policies and agreements that will mold their experiences in destination countries. Even though bilateral labor agreements can have an impact on their migration experience, migrants are usually unaware of what they are. Bilateral labor agreements are the agreements that are signed between uh, different countries for the purpose of uh, securing the protection of uh, migrant workers. Uh, you find that in Kenya we have signed three bilateral labor agreements. One is with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the other one is with the state uh, of Qatar, the other one is uh, with the United Arab Emirates. Uh, at the moment uh, we are about to negotiate other bilateral labor agreements with uh, Oman, uh, Kuwait, and uh, Lebanon. And once we negotiate these bilateral labor agreements, this will be a big plus to our migrant workers and because we know that uh, there will be protection of our workers and uh, we shall be in a position to send many Kenyans to those countries where we have bilateral labor agreements. Uh, ወደ ውጭ ለመሄድ ከመዘጋጀታቸው በፊት ከመነሳታቸው በፊት ያገር ውስጥም ስራ ቢሆን ወደ ስራ ከመሰማራታቸው በፊት ክህሎት ሊኖራቸው ይገባል በተለይ ደግሞ ወደ ውጭ በሚሄዱበት ጊዜ ዝግጁ ሆኖ መሄድ ይገባቸዋል ይሄ በተጓደለበት ሁኔታ የምናስተውለው ነገር ምንድነው የመጀመሪያው ወደ ወደ የሚሄዱበት አገር ሲሄዱ መሟላት የሚገባቸውን የሚያስፈልጋቸውን ነገር ጠንቅቀው አያቁም ከየት ጀምረው የት መጨረሰ እንዳለባቸው አይረዱም የሚሄዱበትን አገር ባህል ወግ አሰራር ስርዓት አይገነዘቡም ቋንቋ ይሽግራቸዋል በዚህ ምክንያት የተግባቦት ችግር በከፍተኛ ደረጃ ያጋጥማቸዋል ሁለተኛ በሚኖርበት ሁኔታ ቶሎ ብለው ከሚ ከባህሉ ጋራ ለማመድ ራሳቸውን ለማስተካከል እንደዚህ ችግር ሲገጥማቸው ይታያል ሶስተኛ በሚሄዱበት ቦታ ስለሚሰሩት ስራ 
እጃቸውን አፍታተው አውቀው ተረርተው በኢትዮጵያ ውስጥ እነሱ በአብዛኛው በገጠር አካባቢ የሚኖሩ ሴቶች ናቸው የኛን አገር የገጠር ኑሮ እንረዳዋለን አንዋኗሩ አካባቢው ከነበሩበት ከተነሱበት ቦታ በአጠቃላይ የተለየ ይሆናል የተለየ በሚሆንበት ጊዜ በሚሰማሩበት ቦታ በቤት ውስጥ ለምሳሌ በቤት ሰራተኛነት በሚሰማሩበት ጊዜ ምን እንደሚሰሩ እንዴት እንደሚሰሩ ምን አይነት ንቃቄ ማድረግ እንዳለባቸው ምን ማድረግ እንደሌለባቸው በውል ባለመረዳታቸው በሚሄዱበት አገር አስሪዎቻቸው ጋራ አለመርካት ይኖራል ግጭት ይኖራል ያጠፋሉ በዚህ ምክንያት ቅሬታ ይፈጠራል ለሚሰማሩበት ስራ ብቁ አይደሉም የሚል ድምዳሜ ላይ ይደረሳል የነበረው ፈተና ምንድነው ምግብ ሁሉ ማናገኝበት ወቅት ነበር በጣም ከባር ጊዜ ነበር ሳንቲም ካላለ ምግብ ማታገኝበት ምግብ ይያለ ማይሰጥበት አጋጣሚዎች ነበሩ በጣም ከባድ ከባድ ፈተናዎች ያንን ተቋቁመን ነው ብዙ ነገር ያሳ ተመታለ ተሰደባለ ይተፋባል ብዙ በቀን ቢያንስ ምግብ ሶስት ማለት ዘጋ እንደታየ ብዙ ነገር አለ ወይፈልግ ወገንም ቢሆን ብዙ ነገር አለ ማለት ቀን የማይለወጥ የነሰራ ብዙ ምግብ አለ ዝብየሩስ ላይ ብዙ ፈተናዎች ነበሩ ለኔ ከባድ ነበር በሽታ ነበር እዛው ሀገር ነበር የናት የማሞት ምናም ድርብርብ ነበርና ራሴን ሁሉ አስከማጥፋት ታገል ነበር እዛ ያያለው ጓደኞች ይጥሩ ነበሩ እነሱ ነበር የሚያነሱኝ የሚጥሉኝ ኖርማል ስንታመት ስከመጥ እነሱ ናቸው ያለ ምንም ነገር ሳይኖሩኝ የነበሩት ማለት ነው ለመበላውም ለምጠጣውም በላ ፋሻ ምናም ለሚገዛልኝ እነሱ ነበር እርዳታ የሚያደርጉት ከዛ ከ10 አመት በኋላ በኮሮና ምክንያት ነው የገባው ወደ ኢትዮጵያ ነኝ ኮሮና ገብቶ ስራ አጠፋዛ የቤክራይ ምን ሚከፈል ጠፋ መስራት አልተቻለም በአጠቃላይ አረብ ሀገር ማለት ሁላችንም ወደ ሀገራችን ገባን ማለት ነው What is the BRMM project and how did the project begin What are the goals of the project The aim of the project is to lay the foundation for improving labor migration governance in East Africa The Better Regional Migration Management Project has significantly improved labor migration governance in East Africa by using evidence-based policies, enhancing migrant workers' qualifications and skills, and actively engaging social partners for improved development outcomes. The project has uh, three major components. One look at the establishing and strengthening the foundation for improved labor migration statistics in the region. The second one is more focused on skills. so better skills matching recognition and development along specific migration corridor and upskilling and reskilling of uh, potential and return migrants uh, so that we enhance their employability that's one of the, the second uh, component uh, last but not least uh, improving the capacity of our social partner namely employers and workers to better engage on uh, labor migration policy in their region How did the project engage stakeholders involved in labor migration? Stakeholders are involved at different level. We work uh, some are involved in direct implementation. Uh, some of course are involved through capacity building and different support from the project. For example, we have we work with the trade union in terms of increasing their capacity on the issue of labor migration, but as well as for them to campaign for the ratification of convention. Uh, of relevant uh, international labor standards so um, they are actively implementing but at the same time they are uh, benefiting to, from the project in terms of capacity building we work for example with employers again we have done assessment on what, what the need of the employers is in terms of labor migration and the perspective of employers of lab, uh, in terms of labor migration but we have also engaged with employers in terms of job creation for a return and potential migrants. So they are beneficiary but at the same time they are also engaged in the implementation of the project through job placement. 
with the government, most of our support has been in terms of the policy development, but all, as well as capacity building. For example, we recently supported uh, the Kenyan government when they organized their job fair. So they, uh, we also support them, as, a, as I said, partly when they're implementing their own activity. We provide the necessary technical and financial support, as well as uh, so sometimes they are also, for example, we provide capacity building training on bilateral labor agreements, so they benefit from the different uh, capacity building support that the project implement. Um, we also work with NGOs in implementation of some of the activities. For example, in Ethiopia, we have worked with uh, two NGOs, namely WISE and Live Addis, for them to provide support for potential and return migrants, to, for the, to provide training, but as well as uh, link them up with the financial institution, which is also part of the uh, uh, support that the project is providing, uh, so they are directly engaged in the implementation as well. Uh, Migration prone area of Chemi Barulacho, Bamangstam, civil society, Kirkosaka, Malatno. So Nazar Dauschlai in Minoru, Kaulatumor Dauschlai, and the Matoham Sai in Mihonu, Satan Down Dutch. Tamalasho China, let's see the Tagalacho on Babzanya or the Tamalasho to focus on the Nadar. Gundagram and Gundago, potential to number my cat, and the Matam Salam Hono with that with that one duch and Nasi touch. social and economic empowerment agal glue to Gabiaga, Market Ga, Casrafa Taraga, Link and Mirror Gubet and the Dama Machachet. How does labor migration statistics contribute to improving and safeguarding the lives and rights of labor migrants? Identify the challenges faced by the migrants and also the gravity of those challenges. And also, secondly, the statistics aid in the design of informed policies to mitigate the challenges that are identified. Then, uh, we can think of uh, a situation of employment monitoring. If we want to scale up employment monitoring, then statistics is at the heart. It's a tool that will help through informed, for example, help desk systems to monitor employment of migrant workers. Through the project, Beta Regional Migration Management, the Bureau has gained a lot. For instance, in the capacity building workshop that was held by ILO, uh, my colleague Mr. Johnston Galande and myself took part and were able to appreciate several concepts on, on labor statistics generally, but uh, more specifically on labor migration. For example, how to compile SDG indicator 10.7 on recruitment costs, institutions that compile labor statistics. And we've also been able to identify most sources of labor statistics, labor migration statistics. And uh, this will go a long way in helping us uh, build a better database for labor migration statistics within the country. Majority of migrant workers' rights are violated simply because most of them do not have accurate information regarding their rights. Some of them do not have uh, information about their rights as well. So that has been a major key responsibility that we have been undertaking over the past months, just to educate, to sensitize, and to increase awareness on the rights of migrant workers. Just to mention but a few, uh, this includes, uh, you know, uh, migrant workers uh, getting contracts and signing contracts before leaving the country the contracts then should clearly indicate the nature of job they're going to do, their wages, and any other benefits that could be associated. Uh, another key uh, theme has been on the aspect of media, media involvement in passing on key messages that are very important to migrant workers. Because we realize that uh, even if we train them, that is in a workshop or a classroom setup, sometimes we're not able to reach out to a majority of them. 
of the migrant workers. So basically we have uh, been actively involved in uh, use of social media, uh, use of television, use of radio to pass very key and very pertinent uh, issues in regard to protection of the rights of migrant workers. Just informing them that before leaving the country to their countries of destination for work, they should make sure that they are checking out if the recruitment agent is registered here in Kenya or not. Kaziwala Benyabi Beka Benazaba, he was at your Betabella show to church in Bibeka, Begino Macaroni Arawagar. But I'm just willing, Yalgan, Iluna Rasagas Ladder Regulin, you may come to Beber. And by in Silla Basilian, you know, but I'm just willing, I'll better yet, I'm Miss She. I'm Miss Motors, there's any on a miracle, new on a being Xavier Genita that a gown and Puna Xavier Bernas with a tag money in a mass of Bunyal, Xavier and Mamma's a ganalo. I luna Rasagas and but Amamma's a ganal. In Ethiopia, the project has facilitated the integration of potential migrants and returnees into the labor market by providing core vocational and employability skills training, as well as apprenticeship and placement. The project also focused on improving the financial literacy and access to finance of potential migrants and returnees. Uh, when we deal with returnees in the past, what they, what they used to tell us is all these trainings in terms of life skills, entrepreneurship, financial education. If they had it before they migrate, their migration experience would have been t totally different, well, probably a positive one. So what we did is, we, for those who was planning to migrate as well, we have provided training on life skills, um, entrepreneurship, using the ILO materials financial education, again, using the ILO materials, uh, so that uh, those who are interested in self-employment go ahead and engage in self-employment. And those who, of course, want wage employment, who is not the business or entrepreneurial material, we try to link them up with an employer so that they can uh, engage in wage employment. But for the self-employment, uh, we have also provided um, in kind support. Um, to, for the uh, business they are planning to engage, we provide the required materials uh, in partnership with uh, LiveEdit. And for some of them, we, uh, we have uh, linked them up with uh, a financial institution because the project have um, partners with three financial institutions in Ethiopia in Amara region, Oromia and Addis Ababa, so that they can get access to finance, so that they can start their own businesses. Customer business rat met and to Marit, Mastanagar and Dalabin, Rufit Masayat and Dalabin, which in Nagavach and Mauk and Dalabin, but both on a cow in Ben and Patmuta and the Nagar Majamar and Dalabin, Astam Ronald. They let them move your Bazoma Seratnon to Nishuja Marco Marat. And now ten Kamabrathak and Mabrat, Lemabrat Tasu, La Gulbet Tasu, our Nyasa Sarah Gulbet, yes, a bear at them. La Gulbet Tablurasu, Matasa and Dalla, but he Gulbet is a blame at Watan Dalla, but to last them around. But I'm a Bazunagar and Dog and a Bazunagar and the Internaling and this and this who boast in Dasa Ragin, Yerasid Siltanano. Young Casalet and Kuala, in Shama Murtum Sarun, Munu, in a good good Kazabohala. In Lunagar, Dinas Sam Yadrage, Yerasid Siltanano. Rasid Yona Antana Aster Aster Sawatch and Tambeluna, Baragabuna Berna, and the Wedion Bezach per Saraja Marin Sawatch Malasna. And Nando Michelamata, Mr. Shams Matosha Lamona. Now, but Amamas Agana Luna Zari lay Malas Tilk, Lot and Damat Ayadar again, Zabota Kagabo Bohalano. The role of social partners in integration, I will be talking about employers. And our role is to bring them back home and then when they arrive at home to give them all kinds of support and put them back in the place of work in Ethiopia. Across the region, as a result of the project, Social partners and relevant stakeholders now understand the concept of labor migration and migrant protection 
and relevant institutions have been strengthened to provide improved services to migrant workers. Yenik at Aon and the Zibuk Yalich Nagaralich, a Kadigan Masa Degana, whether Baltana, whether Souk, a Kasuk of Malfula, Fabrica, Vijim Bella from Knetum to get Kadakuni and the Souk Sinor, who let Souk and the and the Zima Bazat from a Feligo, Yenik Adiano, Cadeno, Yenik Sakalin Yalvie, Chalal Viam Nalo. አሁን የተሻሉ ማሽኖች አሁን ለጊዜው 36 መጣፋ ማሽን ነው ያለችኝ ከዛ በላይ ደግሞ ብዙ አይነት ማሽኖች አሉ እኔ በርግጥ ከተተላለው ዩቲዩብ ላይ የማሽኖች አይነት በጣም ብዙ ማሽኖች አሉ ብዙ ዲዛይን ያላቸው ሻማዎች አሉ በጣም የሚያማምሩ እነዛ ለመስራት ይወት ይወደፊት እቀዴ በቃ ሳፋ ያለ በቃ እኔ ትክክለኛ ሻማ አከፋፋይ መሆኑ ምፈልገው ትልቅ ሳፋ ያለ ሻማ ማምረቻ ከፍታ ለብዬ አስባለሁ ناس كون هم بشامة مرتو طرو نجار يجي على بياس سبالة كذي بلت أدمه ودفيت تلك شامة درجة لما كفت بتأمل كده نعلى ما عليه أهون جنا مجمع رئيس له هنا كت تلاقين طرو نجار عجيني على بيت أسفار درج له زي درجة درس درش على براس إيد مالتنا. In South Sudan, the project has successfully built some key players to tackle South Sudan's labor migration issues, so they adhere to international labor standards. And also protect the rights of migrant workers. In Tanzania, Uganda, and Djibouti, the project has improved labor migration statistics data. In Kenya, it has facilitated the establishment of the Migrant Workers Welfare Fund. The fund will provide social protection for returnees. The ILO developed and implemented a program called Better Regional Migration Management, BRMM funded by the UK FCDO office between September 2021 and June 2022. The program was implemented in Ethiopia, in Djibouti, Sudan, South Sudan, Somalia, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. The project did lay foundation for labor migration governance in East Africa by using evidence-based policies enhancing migrant workers' qualifications and skills, and actively engaging social partners for the improved migration outcomes. What are these outcomes? What is it that we wanted to solve? The first focus of the program was improved labor migration statistics for evidence-based policy making in some of the countries I've mentioned. That way, policy makers and social partners then use the labor migration statistics for the design, implementation, and monitoring labor migration policies. The second outcome focused on the people themselves, the returnees and potential migrants, especially women and the youth, to have them access to integrated employment services, to have them be trained before departure, and also on return to have skills and qualification recognition, matching and development. The idea being that governments, countries, both the sending and the receiving countries, make good use of the skills from the migrants and the returnees. The third outcome focused on social partners, ILO being a tripartite organization, and highlighting the importance that workers and employers play on labor migration did focus on institutional building, on employers' organizations and workers' organizations.